Hey everyone, it's Tyler the Antenna Man. I'm making this video to address some misinformation that's spreading about the new ATSC 3.0 over the air TV standard and legacy ATSC 1.0 signals shutting down. Those of you who may not be familiar with the technical terms, ATSC 1.0 is the broadcast standard nearly every TV station uses for their over the air signal. If you use an antenna for local TV channels, chances are you are picking up an ATSC 1.0 signal. ATSC 3.0 or Next Gen TV is the next generation over the air TV standard that's launched in several large markets. It advertises some very promising features including better reception and HDR, but has been plagued by DRM encryption locking some people out of accessing it. Recently, I reviewed a portable TV and DVR that was ATSC 1.0 only like most TVs on the market. Several comments were posted claiming that both will soon be obsolete in a matter of few years. As the FCC recently chose a sunset date of ATSC 1.0 for July of 2027, less than four years from now. Most people who saw this deadline compared it to the digital transition of 2009 when the FCC required all analog TV stations to shut down and convert to digital. I want to make it clear that this new deadline is nothing like it. The transition to ATSC 3.0 is completely voluntary with no deadline. I repeat, no deadline for ATSC 1.0 stations to shut down. The new deadline simply applies to usually one TV station in a market that launched an ATSC 3.0 broadcast signal. Most of these stations are affiliated with the CW, My Network TV, and Univision, and not major networks like ABC, NBC, CBS, and Fox. It may be tricky for some of you to follow what I've said, especially if you're not technical, so here is a better example to explain it. WPNT, the My Network TV affiliate in Pittsburgh, launched an ATSC 3.0 signal in 2020. Their channels, including My Network TV, Stadium, Comet, and TBD, are simulcast in ATSC 1.0 by other stations in the market. This was done so that current ATSC 1.0 TVs, nearly every TV on the market, can continue to pick up all of the WPNT channels over the air that were displaced when the signal was converted to the area's ATSC 3.0 host station. With the old deadline, they technically can shut down the ATSC 1.0 simulcast of these stations by next year. But now, the FCC is requiring them to keep their stations on ATSC 1.0 until at least 2027, but they'll likely stay on the air for a good 5-10 to 10 years after that. Here's why. There is no way that even half of the US population will have an ATSC 3.0 tuner by 2027 in less than 4 years. TV stations are not going to immediately shut down ATSC 1.0 and kill the majority of their over-the-air audience. Advertisers would be furious and demand refunds. It should also be noted that the FCC will reevaluate the July 2027 deadline that doesn't apply to most TV stations anyway, a year prior to possibly push it back just like with the digital transition. That was originally supposed to take place in 2006 but didn't complete until 2009. Even then, analog TV didn't fully shut down until over a decade later, which I see the same thing happening for ATSC 1.0. We are still in the very, very, very early stages of ATSC 3.0. We're basically at the same state ATSC 1.0 was in 1998. Sure, there are some broadcasts on the air, but it's not in every market and most TVs don't have ATSC 3.0 tuners built in. In fact, a recent FCC document revealed that LG will no longer include ATSC 3.0 tuners in their TVs next year due to a patent dispute. A further indication of how much of a hot mess this new TV standard is. When 2027 arrives, I guarantee you that all TV stations will still be available in ATSC 1.0 for years to come. I don't see it shutting down for at least another 10 years, maybe even longer, if this whole ATSC 3.0 thing flops as it is a voluntary transition. The FCC is not making any TV station completely shut down 1.0 like it did for the digital transition of 2009. On top of that, there's a lot of controversy regarding DRM encryption on ATSC 3.0 locking people out of accessing some local channels on two popular set-top boxes. Seriously, folks, be careful what you wish for. 
I have been a huge cheerleader of ATSC 3.0 since the beginning of my YouTube channel nearly five years ago. Now, I see it as an anti-consumer TV standard that limits affordable options for the consumer, locks them out of accessing local channels if the manufacturer doesn't give in to the demands for DRM certification, puts restrictions on DVRs, and even requires an internet connection in some cases. In a future video, I'll even explain how ATSC 3.0 gives broadcasters the ability to reduce their signal in favor of more bandwidth similar to turning down the broadcast power, which would lead to a loss of service in weak signal areas. Do you trust multi-billion dollar media companies to do the right thing? I don't. So far they haven't by prematurely turning on DRM encryption and locking out the HD Home Run and Zapper Box from accessing some local channels. Unless the FCC steps in and protects consumers, I no longer have high hopes for this new TV standard, which is honestly very sad because I've been supporting it for years. As I've said probably a hundred times now, we are still in the very, very, very early stages of ATSC 3.0 or next gen TV, whatever you want to call this disaster. The existing ATSC 1.0 signals are not going anywhere for at least another 10 years. Please do not say portable TV or DVR review that's only ATSC 1.0 will be obsolete soon. It's not true and only pushes the false notion that everyone needs to buy an ATSC 3.0 tuner right now. Not the case at all. Wait for the whole DRM encryption mess to be cleaned up first. Most of you should not jump the gun on an ATSC 3.0 or next gen tuner unless you cannot pick up ATSC 1.0 signals reliably. I found in most cases, reception problems are better fixed by improving your antenna setup as opposed to thinking that ATSC 3.0 is the perfect solution as your antenna is the most important factor when it comes to picking up over the air signals reliably. This is why I offer my antenna recommendation service on my website at antennamanpa.com. I run a reception report at your exact location, take a look at the frequencies, signal strength, and even tree coverage, to recommend the best antenna for your location to get you the most reliable reception possible based on my experience testing out over 100 antenna models and actually installing them in four TV markets. In the coming weeks and months, I will review some ATSC 1.0 DVRs. Please do not ask if they are ATSC 3.0. I will clearly say the words ATSC 3.0 in the video if a product is, but as I said, be careful what you wish for. A huge thanks to these folks who support me on Patreon or are members of my YouTube channel. If my videos helped you cut the cord or just provide you information about the future or not so bright future of over the air TV, and you'd like to help support them while gaining exclusive perks, such as behind the scenes content, access to my videos ad free one day early, and direct contact with me, visit patreon.com forward slash antenna man or click the join button in this video. You can also click the thanks button. Like my Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash antennamanpa or sign up to my email list linked in the description of the video. Stay tuned to my YouTube channel for more cord cutting and time related videos and have an awesome day.